Hey guys, we're going to do a quick video over target panic and uh, the two ways that I found that have been pretty good and successfully, even with myself, in decreasing target panic there. Uh, we'll first start off with the definition of target panic or what I'm going to refer to as target panic. And basically what that is, is the lack of ability to hold that pin in one area of your, uh, so if your, your archery, uh, you got an archery target, then you know holding it on that that dot or your target wherever you're aiming at, or that deer. And basically, what a lot of people do is they'll come in there, they'll draw back, and then as soon as they get on that spot, they're just antsy and they pull that trigger. Which a lot of times maybe they're going to have success there, but as you get into that longer yard ranges, uh, I think you're going to find yourself really benefiting from doing a couple of these things. And number one is going to be allowing your body to adjust in regards to drawing back, especially when you're practicing here, and counting to three. So three seconds. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Then go ahead and see where that pin is. And if it's still in that spot, fire. And if it's not, put it back down, draw it back up. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Continuously try to count, keep that pin right there in that focus target area. And then at that point, go ahead and fire. If you do find yourself in a situation that maybe you're not out there in the range, or maybe you don't have a target to be able to shoot, and you're just inside your house, you can do the same thing without even firing an arrow. So again, get your release on there. Find you a target there, 20 yards. Don't put it, you don't even have to have an arrow in there. But go ahead, draw that bow back. Now you're never gonna fire that bow, um, but you'll draw it back. Again, stay focused. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. See where that is. Do that several times, and that really should help you guys out in regards to getting a more consistent, tighter group in your archery there which should lead into a more successful hunt there. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Like always, hopefully you guys are getting out there in nature and best luck on your upcoming hunt.